Good evening. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Brief and weather forecasts on this Wednesday evening. Thanks for being here with us. Today, newly elected government officials held their first press briefing to discuss the latest on COVID-19 and other matters from tourism to finance. Here are the highlights. We are imploring all of our fellow residents to please make the necessary arrangements to attend the Owen Roberts Vaccination Center as soon as possible to get their first shots. But I think as we all know, and as the Premier has just said, in April, the, the, the take-up really slowed. In fact, I think it actually stalled um, in April, although the last couple of days we've seen an uptick, which is really positive. So maybe some of the messages are, um, are being received. I'm hoping to see more of you come out on Saturday morning to join us in our fight to get this vaccination going and to show the use um, or, or interest as a jurisdiction in the importance of this vaccine. We currently have 3,371 people receiving the stipend, and we know that many of them, this is the only means of income for them while the borders are closed. Since taking my role as the Minister of Tourism, I've heard numerous concerns about the stipend program being discontinued. I would like to reassure all of the recipients that these rumors are false, and I can confirm that the PAC administration is extending the program and will continue with payments. We also decided to go with the policy of putting people over profits. And as a result, there'll be no decisions that will be taken by this government that risk the health and safety of our people. We know that many people are still experiencing hardships from the high cost of living, which continues to impact their quality of life. But I believe that we have the right team with the right leadership to meet those challenges. And you can watch the entire press briefing on this CIG television YouTube channel, as well as our broadcast channel, starting at 8 o'clock tonight. Well, the 25th annual parliamentary prayer breakfast was held on Wednesday morning. Throughout the event, many pastors and preachers from various denominations offered prayer for elected officials, the Cayman Islands, and its people. Organized by the Prayer Breakfast Committee and led by Speaker, the Honorable McKeever Bush, the event focused, as it tra traditionally does, on music, singing, and prayer. This year, COVID-19 and how the Cayman Islands have fared so far was spoken of throughout the morning, while those responsible for making the breakfast event possible were thanked. We should be incredibly thankful that we can lead almost normal lives without masks, no social distancing, when all around us countries are facing such enormous challenges. And I know that our prayers today will go out to the, to the people of India for the terrible disaster which is unfolding there. Our Honorable Deputy Governor, him and Chief Officer Gloria have been our backbone the past four years. Couldn't have got anything done. And when others said no, they thankfully said, yes, we can do it. And I want to thank them. Now we are an independent parliament. And we're still going to have to depend on at least Gloria and certainly guidance of the Honorable Deputy Governor in many areas. The annual prayer breakfast took place at the Ritz-Carlton. Turning now to our weather forecast, the high temperature reached 89 degrees, the low 79 today. Winds are from the east to southeast at 10 to 15 knots during the day, becoming 5 to 10 knots tonight. Seas are slight with wave heights of 1 to 3 feet. The synopsis shows moderate southeasterly winds and seas, which will continue across the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours. It's in association with a high-pressure system over the central Atlantic Ocean. Radar images show isolated showers that are in and around the Cayman Islands area. They're moving towards the northwest. Remember, you can find the latest on local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky or you can download their app on your mobile device. The app is CINWS. And that's it for today's News Brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us and inviting you back here again on Thursday evening. Until then, have a great night.